welcome back race fans we have another build video for you today we have the Maxbox Adventure 2000 that's a series it's a K2001 uh, Raider Command that's a mouthful but this is a beast and it's old so we are gonna have to do this one justice so we've drilled it and I've cut that front section off as as most of them they come quite warped they are relatively old um, I've seen one of these done backwards but I'm not going to do that I'm going to take the wheels off of this um, it is quite solid um, really going to have to give this a go oh there it goes oh, god that flew straight off second one come off a lot easier there so now I'm going to use these big wheels these are from I don't even know what they're from I found them in my box it was just um I found a car it's a massive old thing I thought all oh, those wheels will come in handy for something so I cut them off and stuck them on what I've done is I've actually gone through the original uh, plastic on the car and yeah just pulled it up stuck it back on so there's the wheels on, body on. I want to keep the body as it is. Thinking of cutting it up at one point, but no, I'm not going to do it. Uh, there are extra seats in the back, but they're all going to be covered anyway, so we're not going to have to worry about those. But what we are going to have to worry about is the fact that I can't see that engine. So we're going to come in with our trusty jeweler saw, and we're just going to take that middle section off. Et voila, like so then that back section will fit on and then the main body will go on you can see what i'm looking for there so i want to change the look of this thing um, a reasonable amount so we're going to go with a ram on the front that was supplied by the stinky weasel and I'm going to go with a big gun on this. This is from a bolt action Sherman tank. So I'm going to stick that on the top. And I'm just going to nip that section off there. It's just going to stick on the top. Spikes also from Stinky Weasel. Um, as you can see, I've done some more bits. I've got some canisters on the side. I've now attached some flamethrowers to those or they could be used for forward firing machine guns and just like drums so yeah that's, that's, that's looking okay you can still tell what it is but it looks a little bit different so I've got some things from Anvil Industries I got from a friend and this is the bottom section so the little bit you normally throw away but they've got bits cast on them it's like a chainsaw there's some gas tanks, bit of armor plating. I think absolutely fantastic idea for a bit of bit of resin you throw away normally, and that just fits on there perfectly. So scale wise, there's next to one of the Weaver Divas. Um, it's a beast, so it's going to be a tank rule. Um, but yeah, it is a unit. There is some homemade armor plating. If you want to know how to make that, we've got another video. Um, I've got some hail and terrain, I believe the armor plate, yellow armor plate sections and the gun is, again, all donated. I know some really nice people. So, as you can see, there are gaps where I've stuck bits and pieces that aren't meant to go together. So I'm going to use some of this liquid green stuff from Games Workshop. I've used it once before. Um, it is literally like the epoxy green stuff kind of putty but it's in like a liquidy form it's more like a gel I suppose and all you do is paint it into the cracks and it's supposed to feel small cracks it's not going to feel massive cracks that's what the putty is for but this is just to fill in your little ones um, it works really well sprayed it black not really exciting uh, we're gonna go for a military theme being it's a tank model color green yellow oh look at that cinematic magic painted all the silver sections in silver as well because obviously what other color would they go and uh, let's get on to weathering there she is 
all weathered up and ready for the wasteland. Um, I love this. I think it came out absolutely fantastically. Uh, but hey, I'm not in charge. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for more. So till next time.